Hello everyone, are you re No, that's not how I enter these. We're the tag duelist, and we're here for, the, for more tag dueling. Hey, Zen. Hello, everybody. You can tell when it's been a long day of recording when I start to fall back to what I usually say in every other video I do. It's a force of habit of mine. Anyway, we're here for more Dimensioning the Dice, and we're here to fight Thug B, who's one of the menacing trio of grungy youths who tricked Lint Greendale into helping their criminal undertakings. I know you're asking, who's Lint Greendale? Zen, you're the expert. Who's Lint, Lint Greendale? Greendale? <laughs> I don't recall that being a name in the manga because when I read it, I don't think they translated everybody's names. No, they did not. Um, well, actually, aren't the names in this fake? No, not, not all of them. Some of these are real. But, but the, this is a manga kid. Didn't they just make up the names for the manga kids? I'm going to Google him. Yeah, maybe. Uh, rawr, don't be oh, scared. Oh, he's, um, he's the kid in the manga who loves the superhero comics. Oh, okay, okay. I guess he doesn't have a name. <laughs> don't be uh, scared. His name is Tomoya Hanasaki. Okay, they were, they were never going to translate that. They they changed that to Thugby, rather than actually giving him No, no, him they, that's, that's Lint Greendale. That's not Thugby, that's oh, Lint that's Greendale. Lint, okay, my bad, my bad. Um, hang on, let me let me see if I can suss out who Thugby is here. Suzoji, yeah. I believe, is Thugby. Suzoji, okay. Still, didn't bother to give him a real name. Don't be scared or unsure no, what No, it's not Suzoji. I don't know who Thugby is, bro. Hey, how do you Thug make it this might far? not exist. How do you make it this far into this fucking tournament? Don't be scared or unsure or pause or check things out. And don't even bother getting coy with me. Come on. Alright. You saw how we handled the previous two women and said, Don't try those tactics on me. You got it, sir. Let's see. Beaver Warrior, level one. Can't add him to the dice until I get rid of it. Goodbye, Shadow Sir. And we got our boy. Let's do it. Calm turn. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what Thug B got packing. He's gonna start with a level 2 monster. What's in that tractor chest, though? It didn't look like it was anything actually useful. As always, we're going to start the same way we always do, with uh, <laughs> Baby Dragon on turn 1. Oh yeah. One of these days this tactic is, isn't gonna work out for us, son, but today is not that day. Today the baby dragon flies. Thug B. Set. Really hope we can get a lot of money from this too, so we can maybe buy some more dice. I have to remember to do our secret save. Exclusive yes. to Oh love of God. Yeah, because uh Thankfully the AI is dumb, but their monsters are getting much better. Such as this guy called the Carbonola. Actually, don't we have Carbonola? Oh no, we don't have Carbonola. No, we don't. I think we actively made fun of the fact that Carbonola costs so much. That sounds like us. Always down playing Carbonola. Hmm. He moved it though. Okay. Come on. Nope. Well, the good thing is, is that when we're ready for attacking, we're gonna be attacking like crazy. Chloe, calm down. Dog's too excited for the dungeon dicey. How is it so hard for me to get this one level one when he's able to get so much of his crazy things? There we go. Okay, so we need to now be a little bit on the defensive. I'll go with this for now, because it looks like he's trying to build to the side of us. Try and stop him a little bit. Meet him at the the meeting of the mind here. 
then next turn I think I'm gonna try and summon Pumpkin. See if we can get some stuff going. Oh yeah, Pumpkin time. Yeah. Let's go, Pumpkin. I've always wanted to play Dungeon Dice Monsters in real life. I wonder how it would be like to play. I used to have Dungeon Dice Monsters stuff in real life. I always looked at it and said I should buy this and never did. But it's because I could never think feasibly. I was a very uh, money conscious kid where I was like, how? What is the justification of me buying this when I know <laughs> no one else is going to? Yu-Gi-Oh, that makes sense. I have friends to play with us, but no friend of mine is going to play Dungeon Dice Monsters with me. They'll play Yu-Gi-Oh with me, but they will cut the line at <laughs> Dungeon Dice Monsters. I could find play people who were willing to play Hero Clicks before I could find people who were willing to play Dungeon Dice Monsters. I thought that was a three, but no. Okay. The meeting of the minds continues on this tiny platform. Oh damn it, he might have just taken it. Oh thank god. I think he's trying to build like his fortress, so we're fine. Mmm. Come on, Pumpkin, I believe in you. Alright, almost there. Actually, he's really powerful. I don't click quick game, please, for the love of God. No! Actually, think... <laughs> don't do it! We'd have to start this entire time. Oh, that's, that's good movement crest. Oh, that was his crest. Fuck. Yeah. Unfortunate on that one. I actually think it'd probably be better to have Rogue Doll, because we just don't know how to get... Yeah, Rogue Doll kind of has that power. Yeah. Damn it! I'm... Get in there. We'll get there eventually. Ken... Oh, man, I... we have a Rio Kenshin. We should just summon ours. He's level two. That's a good point. But I think at this point, God, he's got some... a serious like wall built up at the front yeah, right that's, there. Yeah, that's also why we kind of need Pumpkin as well, because he's also uh, backs up as a wall when times are tough. He can dish it equally amounts as much as he can take, not take it, deal it out. That's the way I was looking for. Damn, he's really. This is the first enemy we've ever had that actually feels like he's going to attack us. Yeah, they never really try to, like, fight back. They just defended up until now. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin! Let's see. It's a good placement for this. I think that makes sense. Uh, it depends on how much... Do we want to just be right up in his face? Right up in his grill? Right at the beginning? And just attack? Or do we want uh, to have a more the, the problem is, if we do it that way, he's going to ah, have yes. to go through, like, three things. We also want to... Hmm. Let's just do it. We're going to have to anyway. Okay. There's no way to get up and around. Yeah, I'm also going to do it this way so that there's no way for him to blindside Pumpkin. Right, let's see how this goes. We should be even, even if he's guarding. Yeah, we need to get Rogue Doll next. See, how many defense crests do you have? Three. That's unfortunate for us. But he can't get past us, so it's fine. So I think we probably summon to try and get Ryo Kenshin power. That might be easier to get than Rogue Doll. Thousand Ball. Dragon! Wait, really? Only a level three, He's too. only level two? He's got 30 attack! See how this goes. I should have so much defense that he's not going to be able to stop us. If I read that effect right of Pumpkin. That is not... Oh, okay, we just reduce damage, so he does 30 instead of... Okay. Oh, man, that's unfortunate, because he literally powered up to 40. Okay, let's see. We need someone with a lot of attack. We don't have Ryo Kenshin. I'm thinking of the old one. <laughs> We had! Oh shit, before they took our shit! Ah, uh, that's not good. Oh no, it's right there, Ryukushin. Oh 
nothing up. You're thinking you want Ryukishin powered though, right? Not Yes, not that one. Okay, we're gonna yeah. try and summon Rogue Doll because Rogue Doll will heal Pump King as well. Uh, hmm. So I can't really attack because I'll just deal damage to myself. And he'll always have 40 attack, basically. How many movement crests do you have? He only has one. This might be bad. This might be the first legitimate person that we fought. Giant flea. Okay, he's got 20. Attack 30. But he has an attack up. I don't think we can afford to keep using his ability, I think. I actually don't know what, what amount of these is being used when I do this. Three, right? Oh, yeah, but dude, am I you're hurting. That? I'm hurting, but yeah, I'm hurting bad. I think either way, I we lose Pumpkin here because he he's too strong. You got it. You got to guard. You got to do it. Yeah. See how it goes. Fuck, this bitch is powerful. Yeah, he's super powerful. Damn, that attack did us in when we attacked with him. No, Pumpkin, we might lose here. We might actually end up losing if we do not get uh, Rogue Doll in. I think Rogue Doll is oh, the man, only we might chance we've to got. go back to the lunchroom. We might have to go back. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, we got, oh, fuck. Curse of Dragon? Curse of Dragon? I don't know if Curse of Dragon is going to do anything, though. He's a flyer. What does flying, flying do, do mean something? Hell? I feel like Exploding Disc might be. Actually, I have no idea what Exploding Disc does. If they step on it, it does damage. Oh, of course, a dragon, though. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna try and dimension dice. We kinda have to stop him from his onslaught before he kills us. Let's see, where's one of ours? There's one of ours. Soul Dark Illusion. What's the thing that's powering him up right now? Because that's the thing that's actually kind of a trouble for us. Doesn't he power himself it's up? This guy. Check his it's ability. I thought, it's, it's, I thought... It's Carbonola Warrior. Oh, it's Carbonola Warrior. Fuck. So I think we need to... With this, I think we'll be able to reach Carbonola Warrior because we have plenty of movement stuff. Because we have to, I think, try and take him out. Because otherwise that 40 power is going to be enough to stop absolutely everything we want to do. See if this works out. I have a feeling it's not because he's going to defend and somehow have more defense for it than usual. Yeah, how does he keep getting more defense? Because when I did that, Pumpkin stayed at um, 30. Is there something he's like, I'm not picking up? Anyway. It's end turn. I think we might have lost this one. Only because we have weaker dice now. Because of what they've done. Because this game, thinking that we were cheaters when we were playing the game fairly. Right, we didn't even cheat, and now they're punishing us by just all of this nightmare shit. I know. He has so he's... many monsters! He's not gonna attack us, though. Can I even summon- am I able to summon a Rogdoll? We- oh, wow. They're like, eh, this is about all you got right here, buddy. I mean, you can't, yeah, Exploding Disc is the only level 3 left. I guess I'll put Karibo here for the extra stuff and attack. defenses he has. He doesn't have that much. 
but I can't keep attacking him. I think our best bet actually is to kill him and run straight to his Die Master and hope that um, Beaver Warrior, Lewis, and Baby Dragon can hold off this onslaught they got in front of them. Come on, Louise. Come on. You guys just need to hope that and pray that these guys don't get more movement. That was bad. Fuck. Fuck. But it's okay. But he's moving Komori Dragon for some reason. And it's yeah. like, what? What is this plan? I don't fully understand his plan. I've never. Why did I do that? All right, go. I should have set to see movement. Okay, that's fine. He's only gonna be able to do this one more time, I think. Nah, damn it! He got more. <laughs> he got more stupid defense crests. No, he has none. Okay. We can start doing stuff next turn. He's just gonna keep dimensioning the dice and dudes. But funny enough, he's not really going for the other side for some reason. Prevents tunneling. Tunneling? What the fuck is tunneling? I think there's we have some tunnel monsters, but I don't think there's we've ever built a tunnel yet. Remember they used it in the, the show? to get one from across the other way. I think that's what it is in essence. <coughs> finally! I think we're finally gonna be able to kill this guy. Yes. Now we need to get moving and quickly. Oh, you can hear his death cries too. Alright. I think if we go this way. Yeah, okay. And next turn, I'm gonna focus all on movement. And try and get my dudes to the other side before he can do anything to us. The good thing is that it seems like a lot they've balanced this out by having this guy have like next to no movement crest. He has so many dudes now, but it seems like he's got less movement crest now. Alright, but we got plenty. Yes! Let's go! We are gonna somehow win this Zen with Curse of Dragon. Thank god. Just stay, stay home, Beaver Warrior and Baby Dragon. You just need to ignore the enemy at the gate. Where's the dragons a goat? We can do this! Exactly. He's an OG monster for a reason. We just need to give him the right dice to attack. Look at him. None of their dudes are going to be able to catch him in time. I also feel like this guy has too many monsters and wants to move all of them. He's like, ah yes, instead of focusing on one like we've been doing, I'm going to focus on all five of them separately. <laughs> That's good. Oh, this is less good. Do I have to summon him? Okay, I'm gonna... Just for some backup. No, that's, that would be bad. I'm gonna go here. So close. You're silently approaching him, Curse of Dragon. You can do it, buddy. Oh, he might have finally built the link to there. Well, Mystic Horseman's got it. Where is the movement? There it is. There we go. Movement, are you serious? Come on. Right, ending turn again. Don't get anything, don't get anything. Ugh, that's bad. Oh god. 
Beaver Warrior, stand strong. Please, Beaver Warrior, please. Just stay there for as long as you can. We only need a couple more movement. We just need to hope that he doesn't get any movement and we can win this. I can't believe Curse of Dragon. Is Flight really good? I don't know. It seems like it costs a lot for something that I don't fully understand. We have to look into Flight and what its benefits are. Because you can't fly over dudes, so I don't, I don't know if it does anything more than make you have more movement. Are you serious? No. Skip dimensioning. I don't want to dimension anything. I want to move. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Oh, shit. What? How did he get past me? He went under Baby Dragon. How? We gotta have to replay that shit. How did he do that? Oh, no, finally we get it. Well, it's a turn too late for this because I don't think there's a way for us to stop Ryo Kenjin. Let me see. He's got 20. Does he have enough attack crests, though? Maybe he doesn't. I think he does. He has nine. He has zero defense crest, though. We can try and summon... Ugh. I don't know. No one has an ability. Oh, he has an ability. What's his ability? Oh, shit. We can. We need more but movement. But Baby Dragon's I... in the way. We need to move Baby Dragon out of the way. He costs so much to move. And then though. we're out of attack. We're out of movement crests. We have to get more movement crests. But our only hope right now is our boy Mystic Horseman killing him in one turn. <laughs> Alright, we need movement crests. Movement crest, come on. I don't know how he fucking got under Baby Dragon. That has never happened before. Come on, movement, come on, movement. Oh, wait, can I... Can I heal me? Is the question. I'm trying to summon it so it's like right in front of someone just in case I need to open it. There. Damn it, it has to be to a monster. Okay. No! <laughs> He's one away! Ugh, it's frustrating. How did you move past us? There's never- I've- I don't know how he got past us. Literally, there was no way he should have been able to get past us. And he got past us. Do this and it gives it to everyone. No, it's just him. Boo. I don't know how this is the game is actively against us now, Zen. I think we've seen here yeah, this is feels some, a little staged. This feels a little staged. I feel like the game is actively trying to go against us. It's it, it somehow this Rio Kenshin is able to do something that has never been done before. We've never experienced it before at all, and now all of a sudden they can do it. How did we lose to Thug B? No, see, look, this guy, he clearly cheated, because he's like, no doubt about it, it was my total victory. That's clearly lies. Oh, yeah, he's definitely... He's, he's definitely, definitely on the come up, and we get nothing from that. So I think we're going to have to come back. I'm going to have to... We are going to... Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to fight Thug B, but I'm going to go back and try and do the dice pool. And since this game apparently has weird anti-cheat... Hmm, where is it? Let me see. Where is the emulator? 
Where is the ability to save game? There we go. One. We now have a safe slate so that there's no way for us to lose our dice again. I mean, yeah, but we didn't get any dice to lose. We did, actually. Oh, we, we got did? um we got Beaver Warrior and we got um Oh right, Open we Beaver Warrior. Yeah, so we're going to have to figure this off. I'm going to have to do that again off screen and do the first tournament and then we'll go back for the second one. But I think it's very pretty damn clear Zen that after our first uh, dominating victories and wins that the game has decided to go against us. This is now a man versus machine uh run <laughs> run through of this game that um has decided to question us and our methods. <laughs> Deal. Yeah. So join us next time, everyone, as we continue to try and do something about it. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. See you, everybody.